Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. I have a Yanni here. I just wanted to do outfit of the day and just chat with you guys. I don't know why I've been in such a chatty mood. Girl, what? Yes, I have been in a chatty mood lately. Like, it's like I want to talk about so much. Like, I need to go live um, more often because I miss the open chats and being able to just you know, discuss different topics and how I feel about this and how I feel about that. Because girl, what? My opinion matters. Ah! <laughs> Let me stop. Um, your opinion matters too. But anyway, um, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you click all. And if you want to join the chatterbox and be a part of the MVP Lola's, then go ahead and do that by clicking the join now button or you can click the link in the description bar or the about me tab. It is $4.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. Um, I am, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I am, Always, I'm either yawning when I look at this baby or I'm cracking up laughing. I don't know why. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't even think I would even be able to sell this baby even if I wanted to. I don't even know like how, I wouldn't even know how to price this expression baby. Like, But I'm not gonna sell her and that's not what I'm saying. I'm not planning on selling her. She's not for sale. Um, I'm not interested in selling her. Um, for one, this is some of my best work, um, painted work in skin tone, and I need her. I need her here. I need her here so that I can remember what it looks like um, to be free <laughs> and to explore and not care if I mess up and not care if it's not what everybody like and if it's not to everybody's liking because this is the results so I need to be able to do this on a full body and until I'm able to do this on a full body baby I cannot let her go <laughs> um she is sometime you know she doesn't show up as perfect on well no no baby is perfect but I'm gonna say this and y'all can just be mad at me for this. I'm not being cocky, I'm not being arrogant, but I will say for me, this baby is perfect for me. For me and I'm basing it solely off of my own work. This, I could not be more happy with her painting. There's nothing that I do not like or wish that I would have done different with this painting. This is one of the very, very few babies that I was just like, in fact, I was so mad with myself because I was like, and I don't know if I said this in a video before, but I was so mad with myself that she wasn't, <laughs> that she was just a cutaway egg because I was like, oh my gosh, like how could I get it right here and this is it. This is all I get. It's just a head, you know, <laughs> it was like, Oh my gosh, so like that, she is my goal. She is my goal. So, um, I wish you guys could see like, even inside her mouth, like the back of her throat is like, it's like wet, like as if she has saliva in there. And it's so funny because it literally, I don't know. I even, even the roof of her mouth, you guys can't see in there. Like, I don't know. I just, I just went all out on her. and. But anyway, um, and I brought her on to say one thing I see a lot of times with my friends, my Dolly sis, Dolly friends, um, Dolly associates, whatever, Dolly peers, collectors, artists, is <clears throat> a lot of times we spend so much time seeking approval or validation from, you know, rather is, you know, other artists or the sculptors or collectors or our peers, you know, our friends. And it takes away because the moment you don't get that validation that you're looking for, you feel so defeated or you cheated or you feel like, you know, it kind of takes away from the thrill when you're waiting for someone to say, oh yeah, I agree, that one is gorgeous, this and that. You know, you when you need that, 
to be completely happy. It's like the moment someone says, I don't like that. No, I don't let that go to sis. I, oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't buy that. Da, da, da. Like, it's like you don't want the doll no more. You don't want. So, you know, or, you know, for artists out here that's wanting to do prototypes and wanting the sculptors to notice their work, they just keep, like, throwing it in their posts and throwing it in their comment section, sending them, oh, look at my work, look at my work, look at my work. Instead of focusing on pushing it down their throat and it's okay to to promote yourself and try to get noticed that's fine but instead of doing that pour all your energy your love your your passion into your work and one day you will create something that no one can deny you of that attention that you've been seeking people will be so in awe that even if their fingers tremble to click that like button, they'd be like, I just got to hit like. But the funny thing is sometimes people won't hit the like button. They won't hit the heart button. They won't, you know, they won't comment. But they're watching. They're watching you. They're watching your posts. They, they, they like your collection. They like your, your choices and babies. But sometimes people don't want to give you that acknowledgement. Don't worry about that. As long as you choosing what you like as a collector, as long as you're painting what you love as an artist, as long as you sculpting what you feel that motivates you and you get the most enjoyment out of, that's all that matters at the end of the day because the reward is in the happiness behind it. And trust me, the more you're passionate about it, the more you love it, the more excited you are about it, the more value is in that your work and it will pay off one day I, I I believe that it will pay off one day so don't be discouraged don't get mad if you post your babies in groups and nobody likes you got to understand a lot of these groups they have their clicks they have their key collectors that they all woo ha hoo ha hee ha behind they have their all they have their the, the one artist in the group that they love and they chase and they honor. And if anybody else dare think that they're going to come in and get the same attention, it's not going to happen. Some this, this community is full of like very cliquish type people. And it's okay if you have a circle of friends and you have a circle of, you know, collectors that, you know, follow like a cult, um, certain artists or certain sculptors and that's their thing. You know, you got to just do your thing. I'm so used to never fitting in a box. I've always been outside the box. I've always been different, odd, weird, whatever you want to call it. So I'm used to not fitting in. I don't even try because <laughs> I know you can't put me in a square. You can't put me in a circle. You can't put me in a triangle, an octagon. I might could fit in an octagon. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I just thought I would share this little baby. She is so funny looking to me, but beautifully sculpted. I, I do have to say, I really think her sculpting is really beautiful. The expression is very realistic. I actually have multiple babies, real babies. They have this exact same expression. I kid you not. I had so many different inspirations for this this sculpt, which I found so intriguing that people photographed babies, real babies, like this actual sculpt. Because I'm like, this is funny because like, I I was I didn't think I would find many um, pictures to use for reference. And you know, I I keep a lot of pictures. I have 40, 50,000 pictures in my phone right now as we speak. Um, not all of them are referenced, but I do have quite a bit of reference pictures. I have mouths, toes, feet, everything you can think of up close and personal. Just, you know, so for painting references and stuff like that. Um, but I love, I love what I do. I love collecting. I love seeing other people collecting. I get excited 
just knowing that other people are excited about their collection and I know we say that and some of us say it and we just don't really mean it but I really mean it and I believe that there are a lot of other people that really mean it too it's you know it's funny because some of me and my friends we we we, we will talk and when we're expecting the baby it's like is it have it came there it's like we're tracking the baby for our friend like we're did you, did your mail come yet like <laughs> did you go pick up the baby yet like we we are all in and invested and that's the fun part about the hobby you know we hear about the the dark sides we you know it's just I don't know I don't know like I feel so good right now guys I just want to just like scream with happiness and I'm like I keep thinking like waiting for the other shoe to drop I'm like oh my god like this I why do I feel so good right now about my collection, about the hobby, about the friends that I've made, the connections that I've made? Why am I like so happy? Maybe this is just my happy season. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you've had so much stuff happen to you and disappointments and stuff, you almost don't want to accept the positives and the happiness and the joy. And I'm going to tell you guys this today and I'm not trying to preach to nobody, but allow yourself that moment. Take it in, breathe it, accept it, feel it, because nothing lasts forever. Not sadness, not happiness, not nothing. Nothing lasts, lasts forever. We have to enjoy the moment. We have to go through it. If it's a storm, we gotta get through it. And when we get through it, we're stronger. We're able to talk about it. We're able to get through the next storm easier because we've already been through so much. So we know that we've been brought through that storm. So we know that this storm is gonna pass too. So, you know, it's just like, oh my God. Like it's just, I don't know. But I just want to tell you guys, I want you guys to have a great day. I want you guys to be blessed. I want you guys to be prosperous. I want you guys to collect whatever you want to collect. I don't care if it's, you know, the baby with one nose. Oh, wait, every baby have one nose. One eye, one toe, one lip. I think I want two lips. I don't know. But whatever you want to do, do it. Live life. Have fun. Be blessed. Thank you guys for watching. This is Ayani. She is... The Ollie Scope by Melanie Ingold, and she is poured by and produced by Silicon Studio, of course. I know. Um, you can get the head for like $95. She is not a prototype. I'm not promoting no one. I don't get paid off of that. I'm just telling you, she was a great practice head for me, and I might, just might buy me another practice head because I'm just like, <sighs> excited about it. Anyway, bye.